Welcome to Toffee TV. It is the Everton News Daily. Everton have released videos for the North and the East Stands at the new Everton Stadium to get fans familiarised with what the facilities are going to be like, what the seats or the view from the seats are going to look like, how fans get into the ground, you know, all the things we're going to know when we move to the new stadium. So as you can see here, the level zero for the north stand, you will get go into the stadium uh, via the turnstiles on the east side. There are no turnstiles for home fans actually on the north side. They're just for the away fans. Um, level... That's on level zero. Level one will host the away fans and the family stand. And then level two will have, um, will you will get in, sorry, on the west stand um, for the fans that are on the second tier behind the goal. Um, the lower has 2,760 available seats. Uh, it's next to the family stand. It's got lots of food options. It has one food and drink kiosk spanning 13.42 metres, uh, obviously seated close to the action and has average degree elevation of 23.83. The upper has 5,986 available seats, um, close to the visiting section, if that's something you're into. Four food and drink kiosks, um, and as an average degree elevation of 33.42 seat. So that is the North Stand. Uh, the Obviously, they've released, released a video for the East Stand as well, uh, which is obviously the one closest to the road, folk, closest to uh, the Fan Plaza. Uh, as you can see here, uh, again, two um, entrances on the east side for you to go in. And as you can see there, you can go all the way around the stadium as well. And it's the same on the uh, north stand. You can go all the way around apart from the west stand, which is absolutely fantastic if, you know, because you can go and meet, if you're in different parts of the stand from your mates, you can go and meet them for a pint before the game at our time, etc. The east stand upper will have 7,614 seats. Uh, large open concourse, easy access, four food and drink kiosks, uh, wide range of food and drink, and the lower 4,200 available seats. Again, touchline views, early access, uh, access um, obviously close to the action and seated as well. So it's brilliant that you can just walk around the whole of the ground and you can... You know, as I said, meet your mates and stuff. So hopefully these videos will help you decide where you want to be in the ground. Everton are going to be releasing um, another one tomorrow and then another one on Thursday for obviously the South and the West stands as well. In that East stands as well, you have a level which is hospitality as well. So obviously that's for people who've already bought the hospitality. But a uh, good idea to show everyone there's a... Another video out tonight about the accessibility options within the stadium as well. So if that's something you'll need, make sure you check out that video. So you'll see how you get into the ground and what options are available to you. And we all have to make a decision in the next month or so where we want to sit or what our first choice is. So um, good that Everton are letting us all know what's happening within the stadium. Uh, on to international news. Um few games today concerning our players. There's already been one that's been played. Uh, guinea Passau have played. They have been beaten been beaten 2-1 by Mozambique. Beto played and scored for guinea Passau in that game, but obviously ended up on the losing side, unfortunately. Senegal are playing tonight at 7 o'clock. That game should feature... And Jai and Adissa Ghana Gay. So that's a seven. That's kicking off just about now, isn't it? Uh, and also Ukraine are away to Albania. Uh, Michalenko will obviously be featuring in that game as well. And obviously that will be the last action ahead of the players returning back to Finch Farm ahead of the game on Saturday against Brentford. Uh, also reports that Jared Branthwaite is in back in full training as well, which is great news. And I'm sure we'll have more about that on Thursday when Sean Dyche has his press conference. There you go. That's the day's news. Not loads, but, you know, informative at the same time. Make sure to give this video a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you want more great videos, join us over on Toffee TV Premier. The link is in the description and the QR code's come on the screen now. See you later.